What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and I'm going to show you guys today um, how to build a good bobsleigh coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. So, the bobsleigh coaster is um, one that I don't think gets much love in the game, but they're actually pretty fun to build, and pretty simple to build, honestly. Um, now you're not going to be getting extremely high excitement ratings out of a bobsleigh coaster, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. But the way that I like to build these things is you're going to be using lots of helixes, very little just you know down straight downhill and uphill usually. This is the way I like to go about building them. Um, it's very dangerous on these bobsleigh coasters to go straight up into regular hills, and because when you do that, if it's going too fast, this coaster is not um, connected to the track, so it can actually fly off the track if it's going too fast um, and going straight up a hill. So, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm not going to show you it fly off the track, but I'll show you how I build the bobsleigh coaster. So, I'm starting with two small helixes down and then into some large helixes. And these roller coasters end up looking really cool once you're done with them. I, they're one of my favorite looks to a roller coaster. Um, but you gotta make sure you've got plenty of space for one of these things when you're building them because they will take up a lot of space. Because you need room for all of the huge helixes that you're gonna be doing. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna build a bunch of helixes going down just like this and then once you know, I, I feel like the coaster is going to be going pretty fast. I'm not going to go straight up like I was talking about um, into another hill. I'm going to almost always go up using helixes unless I'm really confident that the roller coaster is going to be going slow enough that I can use, you know, just a straight up hill. But I've got my helixes going up right there. I'm going to go down um, just a little bit here. On this next part and then I'm gonna go straight into some more helixes and you'll just see kind of the way that I well <clears throat> actually I go up right here well, you can see the reason why I go up right there is because I've already had the coaster go up plenty with the helixes so I'm feeling confident that the coaster won't go flying off the track at that point okay um, we're gonna do some more helixes down right here and eventually we want to start curving this thing to head back toward the station platform so that it's not too ridiculously long of a ride because you could end up making this thing super long and <clears throat> slow. Now I'm gonna go up. The roller coaster is probably gonna be going pretty slow because it doesn't build a ton of speed through the helixes so I feel pretty confident about my placement right there. But you never know. We could end up testing this thing and it actually flies off the track right there or something. But I'm not trying to do that right now. Alright, I'm going to try to head this thing back. I think the roller coaster right here is going to be, it's gone down pretty far. So it's going to have some pretty good speed going. So we're going to go ahead and bring the helixes up. You should be safe to go down one here and then I'm gonna turn the track going back to the station platform and then we'll throw in some block breaks. Build your entrance and your exit and then we are pretty much good to go. So let's go ahead and test this thing and watch it run. I'm only gonna double the speed on the chain lift here. We'll watch the rest in normal uh, real time. see the bobsleigh going nice and slow right there going up the track it's 
got this is a good speed that it's going right now. And you're gonna see it. It's probably gonna pick up some pretty good speed here. You can see it's really hauling now. So that definitely would have been a bad time to put in a hill so the helix going up is able to make this thing get back home safely. So there is the bobsleigh coaster itself. Let's check out the excitement rating. 5.67. That's pretty decent, okay? Um, and that's pretty typical of what you're going to be getting out of these bobsleigh coasters, like I was saying before. So I'm going to just change up the colors, make it look a little bit more appealing instead of hideous. And then let's go ahead, as we always do in these, and we're going to um, add some, yeah, some things to make the excitement rating go up, including the platforms here, and then some trees, some rides, and we'll see how that affects the excitement rating. So we'll throw in an escape hatch, or the escape hatch here, some snowmen, that's fitting. Maybe put in a roller coaster next to it. And now let's go ahead and check the rating here. 5.96. So you can see that went up quite a bit there. And just for comparison, let's go ahead and look at what the pre-built ride's excitement ratings are. So the Icicle Bob, the Ignition, and Toxic Toboggan, you can see those are all about a 6.0. Toxic toboggan being a little bit lower than that, but so that's pretty typical of what you'll expect out of your bobsleigh coaster. But you can see it's a good looking ride. I really like um, this one. If if you want to see me build one of those, I did it in the Diamond Heights Let's Play series. You can go back and watch that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this one. Hopefully, it helped you guys out. I will see you in the next video.